Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is an insane giveaway. You guys had three cups to get and chances for some big prizes going on here. You know what? I didn't expect so many people to get so close. I feel like a few of you might have been able to catch on based off of how I edited the video, but that's totally fine because I found a lot of people actually got the location of Foxy Rain correctly. A lot of people got one out of three. A lot of people ended up being very close with the next two. That in itself is amazing. However, we have one person who got two out of the three and was one away from the other location. I'm actually just gonna roll the video right now of the actual answers. Obviously this was pre-recorded. You can go back and check my uh, day 64 video to see the side-by-side -side comparison almost. Those clips are just cut from this main video. At the end, I'll tell you guys who the winners are and um, I'll link and tag you guys. And thank you guys so much for participating in my contest. Hey guys, so we recently wrapped up the last contest giveaway. Unfortunately, nobody won the exact results. So we're gonna kind of roll everything all over again. What's going to happen though, is we recently received a pre-order from a couple months back. The Nanners, the Athel or Athel, the Foxy Rain Cups, the Content Creator Cups came in. So we're just gonna do another giveaway. This is gonna go on for the next about two and a half weeks. I'd like to end it on a Saturday. I will be using this video or the full video. All right, guys, so here we go. What we have is the creator wall here, my creator shelf. I'm gonna have to upgrade at some point. These are not very tall. You know, we're gonna start, we're gonna start small. The, uh oh, the cup packaging broke on this one. We'll start with the Athel cup. This is gonna be interesting because it is the first guy cup. Well, it's the second technically, but it's the first creator one. If you guys did not realize, my husbando cup is all the way down here. Not because I, you know, prefer the waifus. He actually outranks one, two, three, four, five. He outranks five waifu cups. So I'm actually almost out of space. This is the bottom shelf all the way down here. Athel's design is actually really cool. I enjoy it a lot. So far I have three, six, nine, 12, 26 on the shelf currently. Out of 26, well, I guess it could be out of 29 because we're gonna put three up. The creator cups are different for me because I have almost zero attachment to the actual creators. So when you go into guessing where I'm gonna put them, you have to keep that in mind as well. So a lot of this is based off of design. Uh, with, the, with the exceptions being the Shy Lily, which will probably stay up there for the indeterminate future. And then I have the two Shibuya Kaho cups. Uh, one of them was signed at Anime Expo. Uh, yeah, front and back signed. There's a couple of them that I feel like it would be really cool to get signed. A lot of them were actually at Anime Expo, and then we had TwitchCon last year, so back to where we're placing this cup. I think we're pretty solid at the first couple of tiers here. So we're going to take this one. I always forget who this is, and I'll probably correct myself. And Athel can go right here. His design is super cool, and I and I really enjoy it. Got to set her aside for a little bit. Next will be... Next cup will be Nanners. I, I really like her design. So remember when I said all of this was going to stay pretty much the way it was for the most part up top? Uh, I was wrong. I actually know Rusty Fox and that's most of the reason why her design's up here. I think we're gonna actually take this, but I, I generally like the overall design and like the cute like shirt in the mouth. That's always fun. So maybe that's why I left it up there. What I'm realizing now is that by shifting some of the stuff that might go up here or even here, I'm going to move the Athel down. So we'll see his final form for this current tiering at the very end, I guess. Because we put Nanners up here, we're going to have to shift a couple around. I think can probably actually swap here. We're gonna put Rusty Fox here. Fork's gonna move down here. And Caleb is pretty good too. It's like so simple. So I kinda like that one. I guess before we do too much, I'm gonna remove these completely into the Foxy Rain Cup. And now for some of you that may know, the Foxy Rain Cup came with some deformities. I thought it was part of the design at first. My cup has a little scratch there. And then another one actually right in the arm. We just we we realized that a lot of the designs are scuffed somewhere here. It's probably done 
within the first like supplier shipping. That's it's like so unfortunate. Foxy Rain, I really really like. I think we're gonna move Bricky down. And, and you know what? We have to give like some praise to Foxy because she's the one that does most of the art designs, especially in season four. And I think season three as well. There's quite a lot done by Foxy. So actually she will make a debut up here. Uh, you know, let's turn it around now. Cause I like the back design. It's really cute. Perfect. All right, anything for views is actually gonna drop down because I can't get over the like absolute goddess abs of the like bricky cup. So with that being said, we have to shift up a bunch of cups now. Athel's gonna actually move down. We have to make room for Michaela. Terry and Taylor can actually go down. Athel's gonna go down just one more. So we can move Swagger Souls down. I'll worry about that later. Let's just get a final count. So Nanders is making a premiere on the shelf at number one, two, three, four, five. And Foxy is making her debut on the shelf at number six, seven. Athel is making his debut three, six, 15, 16. If you got any of them correct, you're already up there on the scale of getting a prize. If you get all three correct, you are going to be getting two of my surplus waifu cups. Check the picture for all prize cups available. If you got remotely close to some of them and you're the closest still, you will still get a prize. I have a goth girl keychain. I think I still have a bandana of some sort. I have some decals. I have like a yokai decal. We will catch you in two Saturdays from now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the whole video. First off, big, Shout out to two specific people for getting the Foxy Rain Cup correct. The Neon Neko and Mr. Underscore Ataku 9000 said that Foxy was at the number seven slot. And that's correct. To follow that up, we had two people who were actually one off on the Athel Cup while also getting the Foxy Rain Cup correctly. So Dreamy Gemini 1 1 and at. N-O-U-W-T-A-1. You both got the Foxy Rain Cups correctly, but you were one off on the Athel Cup by going over one. So you guys said 17 and he was at 16. Those people are not going to be getting any of the prizes this time around. We have a winner and a runner-up. And the runner-up is actually at We Wore Power, uh, who got Nanners right was minus one off of the Foxy Cup, uh, and then they were also minus one off of the Athel Cup, so they said 15. They were receiving uh, a tub and probably a sticker or a sticker pack, something I have lying around here, but the number one winner who got two out of the three correctly is at Jorge underscore Barajas 80. Dude, I don't know if you can, like, if you're, like, living in my same apartment complex and you can see through my window and see my collection. It kind of blew my mind. You were a last minute, probably the last person to actually enter the contest with your guests. And you got Nanners correct. You got Foxy correct. And you were minus one off on the Alpha Cup by saying 15 instead of 16. I know the, the grand prize is going to be two waifu cups. You'll be able to choose one of the waifu cups from my surplus collection and i'll be giving you a random tub if you have some kind of a preference if i have it i'll give it if i have an extra one i'll give it to you dm me that way you know you're in contact with me thank you so much for participating everyone we're gonna be taking a small break for the next month or so where i'm gonna rally my forces figure out another way to do another contest i do have quite a few to like put up on my shelf like i still have the shell phone i still have the nurse joy i still have so many things and all these flavors that came out i have yet to even unbox the brand risk one which i just got in today and there's so many things that has happened in just the past two weeks that this contest has been going on so we're going to take a small break with contests i would absolutely love if you guys spread the word on everything that i do here i am not a partner of gamer Seps. so if you could get the word out so that way we can get the word out that would make a great partner that would be absolutely amazing in june 
soon. I have a lightsaber competition coming up in Las Vegas. If you're in Las Vegas, if you're going to be in Las Vegas on the, I believe it's the second to last week of June. It's like the 22nd to the 25th. I will be at the Orleans Hotel and Casino at the Lightspeed Saber League National Tournament. And I will be competing. I'm also a coach and I will also be running workshops on training and how to learn how to ref. Pretty much I'm open for free training in Las Vegas for a whole weekend. My team Lone Wolf Base will also have a Gamer Subs tasting table. So if if you would like to come by, talk about gamer subs, learn about lightsabers, shoot the shit, talk about gaming. We do gaming. Like we're we're all around nerds here. I don't personally have a streaming channel. My laptop can't handle streaming, but I'm gonna try and put out more of my gaming content uh, right here on YouTube. Check out all my content, like my content, share my stuff. Primarily on Twitter. You can get on my Instagram too. Please spread the word. Please. I will also have prizes and things to do while I'm in Vegas. So who knows? You could probably earn a prize if you stop by and say hi. I'll catch you guys later again thank you so much for participating in this contest and as always stay cultured kings